Hello and welcome to the 2023 edition of World Loan Day. My name is Eric Andre and I'm the current president of the Plon Foundation. But what is the Plon Foundation? Everyone knows Plon as the leading open source enterprise CMS, a CMS with more than 20 years of history, a CMS that empowers high profile sites and intranets all over the world. A CMS that's now on the, its version 6.0. But Plon is more than that. Some will say Plon is actually, and first, a worldwide community, a community that was brought together by the existence of the CMS, but nevertheless a community, mostly online, even though we gather from time to time during sprints, meetups, symposiums, and our annual conference. But Plon the CMS and the Plon the community needed a legal entity to support them. And that entity is the Plon Foundation. The foundation was created back in 2004 as a US-based nonprofit organization. As the legal entity behind both the CMS and the community, the foundation owns the Plon code base all trademarks and domain names related to Plon. The foundation is also the decision-making structure for everything related to the Plon community, from implementing a code of conduct to decide on the licensing of components and libraries. We also ensure a level playing field for everyone in the Plon ecosystem, being uh, companies, developers, and users. And, of course, the Foundation acts as the official voice of Flow. And this voice exists to promote and to protect both the CMS and our amazing community. To do so, the Foundation has some bureaucracy in place, but also with a well-defined structure. And the most important part of this structure is our membership, composed by members that over the years made significant contributions to the community. They are selected based on merit. We currently have more than 280 members divided in two categories, active members and emeritus members. Active members are those that yearly renew their membership. Emeritus are those that at some point they stop uh, renewing their membership. If a Emeritus member wants to become active again, all they need to do is to drop a mail to the secretary of the board and they are uh, converted to an active member. Nowadays, we have 114 active voting members. The active members elect each year a group of seven people to represent them on the board of directors. It's important to notice that uh, people that serve on the board of directors not necessarily are already uh, members of the Plum Foundation. The board, after the election, selects its president, a vice president, and a secretary. Also, the board selects a non-voting treasurer. The board meets every two weeks to discuss topics uh, related to the Plon community and the foundation itself. It is important to mention that the Plon Foundation Board of Directors do not control the development of Plon, the CMS, as this is handled by one of our many teams. The Foundation by Laws, by the way, mentioned that two teams must exist. A membership committee responsible for selecting new Foundation members and the marketing team responsible for the voice of Plon. All the other teams are encouraged by the Foundation to uh, organize uh, and better manage the community. We have for instance, an uh, admin and infrastructure team that's responsible for everything related to servers and domains. We have a CI team that controls testing, continuous integration, continuous deployment. We have documentation, training. We have a security team 
that's in charge of uh, making sure Plume stays one of the safest and more secure CMS around. And to coordinate all of them, we have the Steering Circle, a team led by Eric Steele that meets every month and discuss the uh, directions and the future of Plume. Also, in our Plone community, we have sub-communities, one for the Zoop application server, one for Guillotina, and one for Volto, the new user experience for the Plone CMS. In order to support all of, all of uh, our community activities, the foundation relies on sponsors. We have a comprehensive sponsorship program that supports sprints, conference events, and other development efforts led by our community members. Organizations have the choice of four possible levels of support, basic, standard, premium, and university. Also, you can donate using the GitHub sponsors program just visit github.com slash clone from $5 a month or even a one-time contribution. You will help clone to uh, develop itself and the community to maintain itself. So now that you know what's the clone foundation and why we exist, why not to join us? To become a member, visit plon.org slash foundation slash members and submit your application. You will be required to describe your uh, uh, history with Plone, all the efforts you've done to help the community all over the years. Also, you can follow us on Twitter and Mastodon. And you can take part of our community discussions either on Discord or in our forum. Of course, you can join our development on GitHub. Just point to github.com slash plone. Thank you for watching this presentation. I hope you have a really wonderful World Plone Day 2023. And if you want to reach us, just uh, uh, go to one of our channels or drop a message to board at plone.org. Thank you.